Hello engineers most welcome to eCivil Tech this is the fifth and the final video of the series Stat Pro Basic 2 Advanced with the completion of this video we will be able to complete the basics about the Stat Pro loading modeling and the design further in the another series we will be able to move in the advanced part if you are watching this series for the first time go check the complete series in the playlist playlist name is Stat Pro Basic 2 Advanced as i have created this series for the beginners this series gives you the basic idea about the stat pro this series is very useful for the people who are new to stat pro like the students and the beginners in the previous videos of this series we have learned about the basics like how to model a simple rcc structure how to apply the dead load live load in this video we are going to apply the dead load and the live load on the structure and check the design of beam and column by the stat pro we will also learn to check the foundation reaction that means after watching this video you will be able to uh, apply the dead load live load and uh, do the analysis of the structure and design it and you can also check the foundation reaction okay so let's start the video this is our model which we had created in the last video now we will apply dead load in this video let me tell you what is dead load first dead load is the self weight of the structure we know the rcc building is made up of slabs beams columns and uh, other elements like walls etc so self weight of all these element is the dead load dead load is the self weight of the structure to apply the dead load we have to create the load cases okay to apply the dead load we will go to loading in this menu we will go to loading select loading and then window will pop up name load and definition select load cases detail okay here we will create the load cases select this load cases detail and click on add now choose primary and here we will choose dead okay and now here give any name uh, we are making load case for uh, self weight of beams and column so i am going to give name self weight of beams and column so name i am going to give is self weight of beams and column as wbc in industry we usually uh, write here self weight but not to confuse with so you can give any name right now we are giving hwbc and click on add now you can see hwbc has been created here after clicking add over here okay now this hwbc has no value we will give the value later right now we are giving only the names we are just creating the load cases we will give the values later now let's create the load cases for the other elements like uh, slab weight click on add this will also come in dead wall load add ok now we can close it now we have created three load cases now we have defined only the load cases no value has been given right now so to give the value we will select hwbc first and we will click on add now choose self weight over here keep this factor as minus 1 and this direction y now this y direction is the vertical because self weight the gravity load will be in vertical direction that's why we are choosing y here you can see this uh, software has vertical y axis so we have chosen y and this negative is downward direction that's why we are giving the negative value over here as negative 1 ok you can give the value minus 1.1 also if you want to increase the 10 percent of dead weight if uh, the specification says but right now we don't have any such specification we are giving minus 1 that means in y direction that means the load will be vertically downward and I click on add and we can close it now you can see the self weight is reflected here ok now select it and assign to view and click on assign it will ask to assign yes now this self weight has been assigned to the structure so what software is going to do while the modeling we have already given the sizes of the beam like the size of this particular selected beam is 300 by 500 so software knows the size of the beam and we have already assigned the material that is a concrete material so its density is this much the software already have the density sizes so it will calculate the self weight of the structure by itself ok now the software will calculate the self weight automatically ok because it have the all the sizes and the density so we have applied this self weight to entire model so 
the self weight will be assigned to the entire model okay now we want to give the weight of slab to the structure now we will select this slab weight and we will click on add select floor load here we have the direction we will choose y direction we have to give the pressure what load we want to apply so we have to calculate this load this pressure will depend on the thickness of the slab and the density of the concrete so first we will check what is the density of the concrete where we can check it is in is875 part 1 let's open it this is is875 part 1 it says about the uh, self weight of the material we will go for the concrete here you can see cement concrete reinforced it is talking about the rcc with 2% of steel the density can be considered as 23.25 to 24.8 kN per meter cube okay so this is what is code is saying so is code is giving indian is code is giving uh, self uh, self weight of the concrete rcc concrete reinforced concrete with the percentage of the steel so let me tell you very clearly that for the building design the self weight will never exceed the percentage of steel with respect to concrete in any case okay for the buildings it is not going to increase so 2% is the max so maximum load uh, self weight uh, what we can consider is 24.8 but in the industry usually people use the density 25 kN per meter cube so what we are going to do is we will take the density of concrete as 25 kN per meter cube let us open the excel we will calculate self weight of slab let us assume the thickness of the slab is 0.125 meter 125 mm thickness is the thickness of the slab density is 25 it will be 125 into 25 so it will be 3.125 kilo newton per square meter so this will be the self weight of the slab so we are going to apply this value 3.125 in stat pro we will select this slab slab weight we will click on add floor load minus 3.125 okay and the direction will be will be global y direction here we are choosing minus again because the gravity will be in the negative direction it will be toward the earth downward direction that's why we are choosing minus here 3.125 is the self weight of the slab kilo newton per meter square okay now we will apply the range of this okay so to explain how this range work uh, what i am going to do is right now i will just click on add we will add it later as per our requirement but just to show you how it is working uh, i will show i will show you uh, right now we will just add it okay let's add it and close now click here it is saying that you cannot generate this command why because we have not specified any range now let us specify the range now we will choose node cursor and we will double click on the node this y range is 2 meter and this height is 11 meter okay so at ground meter in software it is given 2 meter this is our ground level but we know that the at the ground the slab load will be directly transfer to the soil okay that's why the slab weight of the ground level will not come on the beam that's why we will not give slab weight at this position now we will select this position this is 5 meter so we will give 5 to 11 okay let us close it and double click it again here we will give the range 5 to 11 and change and close now you can see we are able to apply the self weight now let us double click it again now let me explain this table again here we will choose y range here minus 3.125 here we will choose global y direction here we have chosen maximum minimum is 5 because it is starting from the 5 this level is 5 meter and this level is 11 meter okay so we have given the value 5 to 11 now let us assume that we don't want to apply this load on the terrace floor so what we are going to do is we will change this level so we will double click on this and this value is 8 meter okay so we will put value here 8 meter and now we will change it now you can see 
it is on the first floor it is on the second floor but it is not coming on the terrace floor because we have changed the range so this works it in this way similarly we can change the x range and z range now we know that we do the waterproofing at the terrace level terrace level and the sulfate of that water uh, proofing is approximately 3 kN per meter square so we will create a new floor load case for the terrace sulfate okay we will close it now again we will select this sulfate we will click on add and choose floor load and here we will give the value minus 6.125 okay how I came to this value 3.125 is the weight of the slab plus 3 meter 3 kN per meter square is the sulfate of the waterproofing so it will be minus 6.125 again we will give the range so range will be 11 meter minimum and maximum minimum is also 11 and maximum is also 11 because we want to apply the sulfate on this this floor only and click on add and close now you can check now the load which we have selected will be seen in blue and the load which has not been selected will be uh, shown in green ok so this load we have applied for the first floor and the second floor and this load we have given on the terrace floor ok so we have applied the sulfate of the slab now we will calculate the wall load and apply it on the building now let us calculate the sulfate of the wall per running meter now we need the thickness let us assume the external and internal wall thickness is 150 mm ok so we have given 150 mm and uh, we need height so our floor to floor height is 3 meter and uh, our uh, depth of beam is 550 mm so the effective height of the wall will be 3 minus 0.55 550 mm is the depth of the beam let us check it double click on the beam so beam depth we have given 500 mm sorry we have given 500 mm so we will change it to 500 mm ok the height of the wall will be 2.5 now we need the density of the wall to get the density of the brick wall we will again go to IS 875 part 2 open IS 875 part 2 here we can see the brick wall 100 mm thick brick wall weight is 1.91 kN per meter square ok so it is given for 100 mm thick wall but we need for 150 mm thick wall so we will take it we will calculate it ok now come to come here and uh, we will give the value 1.91 divided by 0 0.1 because it is for 100 mm thick wall right now the density of the brick wall it will be 19.1 kN per meter cube but in industry we usually take 20 kN per meter cube so I will take 20 kN per meter cube now just multiply it all this into this into this now this comes to be 7.5 kN per meter so we will apply this value of the wall load again go to start file select the wall load click add now we want to apply the running load so we will choose member load and here we will choose uniform force the value is minus 7.5 so the value is minus 7.5 and click on add and the global direction this should be selected ok and click on add we have to apply this on all the beams to apply this we have to select all the beam go to view select front view select these beams and these beams again click on this isometric view now we can see all the beams of the first floor and second floor has been selected we actually have to select the bottom ground level beams also ok and now select this and assign to selected beam and assign yes now you can see all the sulfate of the wall has been assigned to the beams ok now let's apply the sulfate of the parapet wall ok again let us assume the thickness is 0.15 only 
and uh, height 1 meter only and uh, the density is 20 multiply by all these things thickness height and density will get 3 kN per meter this will be the weight of wall per running meter for the parapet walls ok so we will apply the outer beams only we can select this way so we will select the outer walls only what we can do we can go to front view select all these beams and uh, we can click on view selected only ok now only the top beams are visible I will deselect everything and again press control button on keyboard and select all the beams one by one now go to wall load click on add go to member load q value minus 3 kilo newton per meter so minus 3 add and close select this minus 3 and assign to the selected beams yes now you can see the self weight of the wall has been assigned now again click on this button to show the entire structure ok now we can see that self weight of the wall has been applied to all the floors and terrace wall has been also applied ok so this way we have given the values of the self weight slab weight wall load etc ok now this way we have applied all the dead loads now we will apply live load <music>